Hello and welcome to Part Source. In today's video, we will discuss loading categories in eTab. Basically, in eTab, loading categories gives us the ability to change or control the amount of power drawn by the individual loads under certain conditions. The power drawn by the individual loads is then entered in the corresponding loading category as a percent of its full name rated value. These loading categories are then used to compute the solution for the network analyses such as load flow, motor starting and transient stability and so forth. So to illustrate, the network shown here contains some motor loads, a static load and a lumped load. And we will start with a static load. To change or control the amount of power drawn by the individual load, such as this static load, we will have to work with the equipment editor. So double click on the equipment of interest, such as the static load, open up the equipment editor, and then we need to work with this loading tab. In the loading tab, you can see here, we have two sections. The first portion here contains the ratings information, and that tells us the static load model is rated for 1000 kVA as the amount of apparent power used for that component. The component has a 100% power factor or unity power factor, which means all your power is consumed as a real power, okay? In the loading section, you can see that this group is used to assign the percent loading for each of the 10 loading categories for this static load. So basically the static load here can have different operating loading level for each of the category used. To edit the value of the percent loading or to change any of these uh, percent values, basically you need to come to these white cells which are editable fields for the percent loading. If you have a need to change the category's names, we easily can do that by coming here and go to the projects and then go to setting and then under setting, you need to go to loading and generating categories. You can change all the AC or DC loading categories used when you model these loads, okay? So for the purpose of this example, I've assigned four different loading categories to be used when computing the load flow studies. The four different loading categories here represent four different operating conditions where the amount of power consumed by my load varies depending on the loading conditions. These loading categories here are the summer load where the amount of power consumed by my load during the summer months is only 70% of its rated value. Similarly, during the winter months, the amount of power consumed by my load is only 90% of its rated value. This 80% here represents normal, which I took the average between the summer and the winter months. And then that 100% represent the full name rated value of my device. Okay, so let's close that one here and go work with the load flow study case editor to assign the loading category, run some analysis, and then compare results. Okay, so let's make sure that you are under the load flow mode. And from here, I want you to go and click on this edit study case. And the study case toolbar here allows us to assign the methodology to be used when computing the power flows, look at some reports, update some parameters after running the load flow. But we are really interested in the load flow loading tab. Okay, and under the loading tab, you can see here we have this box and that box gives us the ability to assign the loading categories to be used while performing the analysis. Okay, and that's the box that we are interested in for the purpose of this example. All right, so let's go back here and then assign some names. So the study case here, let's name this case uh, load flow dash design. And then in the loading tab, we'll assign the design to it. Okay, so let's go back here. Then we'll copy this study case and then we'll create another study case. And then we'll call this load flow dash normal. And uh, in, in normal, We'll assign the normal category to be used okay and then we'll create another one and let's call that load flow summer and then in the summer we'll go to loading and assign the summer loads category to be used and then finally we'll create the last one and let's call that uh, load flow dash winter okay 
and then we assign the winter load category to be used when we perform the load flow studies, okay? Now we created these four different load flow study cases. Let's just close this here. And then I want you to note that here is the study case editor. You can see we have this drop box that represent four different cases where we are going to run the load flow studies, all right? So let's first run the load flow under design, and then we would run the load flow for the normal summer and winter and compare results, all right? So let's do that. We'll start with design. We'll run the load flow and then give that a name. Let's call that uh, design. Press OK. And here is the result. Uh, let's do the same thing for normal. Now change this report to prompt normal. And then here are the result for normal. Let's change now this to summer and then change the report name to prompt and then let's do that and name that summer okay and then run the load flow studies finally we do the last one and that is the winter we will prompt the name so we can rename it run the load flow give it a name and then here is your result okay now we have all the study cases results we can compare these results in more of a tabular format by using this load flow analyzer. Just open that. And as you can see, the load flow analyzer contains four reports associated with the four study cases that we performed. And these are displayed side by side where we can look at, let's say the amperage loading. And we can compare here that the amperage during the winter months was 124.8 amp. During the summer months was 97.07 which is about 25% decrease from the winter months, okay? So basically this was a simplified example to show you that you can change the percent loading of some of your loads, assign a specific category to it, then you can use that category while computing the power flows or any other analysis, okay? Then you can compare these results side by side using a tool such as this load flow analyzer, okay? With that, I want to thank you for watching PowerSource, where you can power up your career and skills. Thank you for your time, and good luck.